Okay, apparently I confused a few people, and by a few I mean only a few, but uh, let's clarify. Um, here is a uh, excerpt from page 75 of the user manual of the Nikon D810, a 36 megapixel camera showing you FX format, and you can also crop down to DX or 1.2 or 5, 4. We're only talking about full frame versus DX here. Now, at full frame is the 36 megapixel camera. At DX, we're only sampling this portion of the image, okay? The sensor does absolutely nothing, the camera does absolutely nothing other than only take the projected image from the lens from this small portion of the camera. As it happens on the Nikon D810, when it samples a DX crop on the sensor, it then becomes a 15.4 megapixel image. Now here's the part that tricks people, okay? Now we've got the exact same lens, a DX lens, at the exact same distance, exact same exposure, exact same focal at 55 millimeter, the 17 to 55. Now, as I already stated in the prior video, what's the difference between this image here and this image here. There's absolutely no difference. The lens shot out the exact same light. Well, sure there is. This is further away. You know, you have to crop in more. No. To get the exact same thing, let's do that, and then we'll know what we're talking about. See, what happens is there's not a change in noise. There is a change in resolution. Okay, so now what I've done is I've taken those two images, and I have... Let's bring up the Nikon D810. I cropped the image in a photo editing app. Okay, now both of them are cropped exactly the same. Okay, I did crop the D500 just a hair, but let's say I didn't. Okay, so I got a 20.8 megapixel image here on the DX crop sensor. Over here, I have a 15.4 megapixel image, which is cropped from the Nikon D810. Now you see, it doesn't matter. You have the ability to actually, if you stick a DX lens on a full frame camera, you have the ability in your menu settings to uh, turn off uh, automatic cropping if you put on a DX lens. But it doesn't make any difference because the only thing that happens is is that I crop down the image later in my computer. You know, I can actually let the camera crop out the image, in which case the Nikon D810 would spit out this and the Nikon D500 would spit out this. Well, they're both exactly the same. Yeah, except for now, in DX crop mode, the Nikon D810 becomes a 15.4 megapixel uh, image. Okay, but there's not more noise here. So let's uh, make a direct quote of what has been said. So I'm quoting someone else here. It says, what you will have to do is scale the smaller portion of the sensor up to the same display size. Well, that's absolutely correct. Now they're both exactly the same size. D810, D500. Both of these are exactly the same. Doesn't matter if it's an 8x10, 20x30. You hear on my computer screen, they are both exactly the same. So that's correct. Because obviously, I'm quoting here now, because obviously you don't want to, because obviously you don't display images or pictures smaller because they're taken with an APS-C lens. Well, that's exactly correct. If I took two different images, one with a full frame, one with a crop sensor, and I want an 8x10, an 8x10 is an 8x10, or a 20x30 is a 20x30. So we're looking at two images now that are exactly the same size. So now here's where the we have an issue. So we, it's, uh, I'm going to quote uh, someone here. It says, this is, uh, you'll get more noise if you do this. No, noise is not resolution. Resolution is not noise. So now taking a look at both of these, uh, zoomed in, and both of these are the exact same size now here, okay? What you see here on the left is the Nikon D500. What you see here on the right is the Nikon D810. Now you see like on the edges of the postage stamp right here, and uh, likewise on the D500, you'll see that pixelation. Less resolution. There is absolutely no difference in noise. And it's uh, opposite. Uh, it would be actually exactly the opposite, even though this is a 15 point uh, uh, 4 on the right uh, in DX crop mode on the D810 and a 20.8 on the left here, the D500. You can have, depending on the camera, more noise here on the left. Why? Because if it's at the exact same exposure on both cameras, which it is here, often you'll get less noise 
on the Nikon D810 or a D750, whatever, because there is more gain because of the larger photo sites. But other things play into, into factors here, such as a post-signal processing, AD converter, SNR firmware, all of that plays a, a big issue in noise. So actually looking at these two, you'll actually see just a wee tiny bit here, more noise here on the left than you do on the right. I can see it, just a wee tiny bit, but there's definitely not more noise here on the right than on the left. So the statement that you get more noise by cropping uh, using a DX lens on a full frame camera, absolute, uh, absolute nonsense, absolutely not the case at all. More, not more noise, just a bit less resolution. 15.5 here, 15.4 megapixel on the right which is the D810 in crop mode, and 20.8 over here on the left, which is an icon D500. So the point that people uh, don't seem to get is when it's scaled up, a crop, uh, what, what is scaled up is a crop of the exact same uh, image projection. The lens drops out the exact same light. So when we're taking a look at this from the Nikon D500, and this at the exact same distance, exact same exposure, exact same lens from the Nikon D810. See, now I left the Nikon D810 out of auto DX crop mode. If I actually put it into DX crop mode, the Nikon D810 image would look exactly like this. But there is no difference between me taking this image in, uh, um, in a full frame mode with a DX lens, which is what I did, and later on, instead of the uh, camera doing it, going into uh, Photoshop or Lightroom and just cropping it out to exactly the same thing as the Nikon D500. There's no difference here. Both of these now are in, let me see, get this image here. Both of these now are exactly the same. Here's the Nikon D500 cropped to the exact same as the Nikon D810. But if we zoom in here, what we'll see is not more noise. What we will see is a different uh, resolution because we're looking at a 20.8 megapixel image, although I did crop the Nikon D500 just a wee little bit, but let's just assume we did, and it'll both look the same. I only cropped the D500 just a wee tiny bit. You can see here, let me actually zoom this in just a little bit more, and then we can take a look. There we go. D500 on the left, D810 uh, on the right. This is not noise. This is resolution. What you see is a pixelation here on the left. Yeah. The Nikon D810 over here does not have more noise. Okay. Look also underneath the eye. Look at this black mark. Okay. Take a look at the three here. And look at the edge of the stamp. Pixelation. Resolution. See, the difference is the number of the photo sites per square millimeter. Now, let me show you something else. Now, this is not the scale, what I'm about to show you here. It's an exaggeration, okay? When I actually take the Nikon D810 and crop both of these images exactly the same, let's just say we're talking about this one uh, stamp here, using the exact same lens, exact same distance, exact same exposure. Since the Nikon D500, if it were scaled up, would be a 47 megapixel sensor camera if it were scaled up. Okay, see so if I crop it out here, see the difference? I've got six photos. Now, obviously, this is absolutely not to scale. What we have here are larger photo sites. We do have better gain than the Nikon D810, but the Nikon D500 has superior um, post sensor signal processing, AD converter and SNR firmware, but we also have smaller photo sites, which means that if I blow both of these images up from the D810 and to the size of this postage stamp, exactly the same, okay? Now I'm at the same distance, same lens, same everything, okay? There is more information, y'all, on the left than there is over here because we got tinier photo sites. Okay, it means there's more information given a proper exposure. Now, there is more gain on larger photo sites, but there's less information. More gain if I have less light here, but less information. Less information over here, I mean, excuse me, more information over here on the Nikon D500, but less gain. However, that has been picked up by post-signal processing. So... More information, but less gain because they're smaller photo sites. Okay, over here there's less information, but more gain. Okay, do you remember that? Nikon D500, if it were the exact same pixel pitch scaled up, it would be a 47 megapixel sensor. But since I cropped both the Nikon D500 and the Nikon, uh, excuse me, cropped the D810 uh, picture to exactly the same, 
whoops, let me scale down here. I cropped the D810 image exactly the same size as uh, that from the Nikon D500. Then I'm looking at a 20.8 megapixel image here on the left of the D500 and a 15.4 megapixel image here on the right. Okay, so there is not more noise, much less 2.25 times as much noise. You don't get lesser, um, you know, so you're, you're not getting uh, more noise, you're just getting a little bit, depends on the camera you're comparing, you're getting less resolution. So what is scaled up is a crop of the exact same image projection that I did here. I hope I made that clear because that seems to confuse the hell out of a lot of people. So thanks for watching and I'll uh, get you later.